welcome to the new segment of the grade seventh. We are discussing the third chapter, history. That is uh, the Delhi, the Delhi Sultans. Okay, so we are discussing about uh, administration uh, of uh, Khaljis and Tughlaqs. So you know that already they are the appointing a uh, humbled birth. Humbled birth means who are the very low caste people in those period. They are the purchasing them who are the able to uh, manage or the who are the very skilled and very strong to become a uh, soldiers. Yes. Sir. So here the two comparison in between the Khaljis and Tug Tughlaqs. Uh, the slaves and kalends they are the very loyal masters for and patrons means they are the noblest workers the under a uh, kings the when they are the seen these uh, servants became the very powerful uh, then to compare to the very rich family or the high uh, ca caste people so when they are the saw these the old noblest persons they are the started troubling those slaves who are a uh, became a uh, in a high position that is a uh, given by a king and uh, these uh, uh, patronage and they are the very humble people to work for to the under a uh, delhi sultans and even though it is a very shockful for to the people the who are uh, writers who are the maintaining the records of these delhi sultans that is uh, already you know that that is a tawariks or a tariks is yes, the who are writing in a in the in the official language in a administration language that is a persian they are in a, some places they are the criticized those uh, laborers the who are uh, under the who are the army people the who appointed by a uh, kings as a noblest persons that is the slaves is yes. the slaves they are the purchasing and they are the giving a high position them and uh, along with that another one thing here when we see these the slaves rather than the sons they are the given a very uh, important uh, uh, position for them and they, they are uh, ma making as those people as a comparing to the sun that is uh, they are the given the position for a uh, uh, as a genetically they are the becoming uh, the same position for to the uh, their ancestors is and their successors that is their genetically they are the maintaining that is in a slaves dynasty that is another one that is the sultan muhammad taklak he was a uh, made uh, he is given a important he is given ordinary persons without seeing the any discrimination of the caste he is made he is appointed a uh, ordinary persons he that is uh, the cooks and uh, gardeners and the barbers uh, everyone he is appointed as a the officially they are the given a administration administrative post yes in a 14th century they are the written uh, these um, uh, in uh, inscriptions about the officially appointments of the muhammad taglas Yes, this is a one type of when we see these there is no discrimination in between the casteism in the in uh, giving a justice for to the ordinary person that is also genetically uh, they are the maintaining the position where they are the showing their skills where they are having their uh, personalities to maintain a uh, that soldiership to become a a part of a military and become a part of administration in the uh, in uh, Tughlaqs as well as in a Khalji dynasty and uh, in the these Khaljis and uh, uh, Tughlaqs they are a 
Mon monarch appointed a military commanders. They are the uh, appointing a military commanders uh, as a governors for to the territories. The who are they are the capturing the where they are the capturing those lands. Those lands known as a ikta. Yes. So that ikta who are the holding who are the maintaining that iktas they are the called as iktedar as yes. or a mukti yes. so who are the maintaining that lands so who are the holding that lands land holders they are the known as a iktedar or the mukti so here these uh, the mukti what are the duties of these uh, muktis or the iktedar that is a main important they are the maintaining the law and order of uh, military campaigns yes where they are the uh, attacking to the another part so they are have to be maintain these military campaigns and uh, that is exchanging their military services for to the muktis they are they are the maintaining the, all the militaries along with that they are the collecting taxes for to a assignment as a salary yes they are the collecting a, uh, these revenue to pay a salary for to the whom that is a soldiers they are the paying those soldiers as a salary when they are the collecting these revenue and controlling these muktis that is uh, uh, the officially and that is uh, inhabitable they are uh, assigned that is a uh, iktas yes that is a uh, who iktas means the who are uh, uh, the holding a land that is they are the known as a uh, ikte that that is a short period they are the using these uh, they are the shifting that shifty uh, they before they are uh, being as a shifted these uh, sometimes some uh, climatical condition as well as uh, sometimes they unable to pay that revenue which they have to be paid yes so these sometimes the har uh, harsh conditions of these services were if it is impossible for to the collect those taxes by these uh, Alauddin uh, Khalji and Muhammad Tughlaq. So accounts, accountants were the appointed by these states checked to the amount revenue collected by a muktis. Yes, they are the collecting when one person is needed for to the check that whether they are the collected those uh, tax from the patients uh, that is the land and the whatever the produce or the production has done by them is yes. so that uh, that purpose they are the appointing a uh, one accountant to look after that these muktis where they are the collecting uh, taxes particular areas or regularly or no another one thing they are the paying a salary for to the soldiers is yes. so that also they are the checking by these uh, kings whether uh, they are the paying uh, salary uh, to the soldiers or no the continuation this uh, part we are discussing the, again in a next video for the reference you can refer a uh, seventh grade history textbook thank you